What up, y'all? Good morning, my green kitties. How are you guys doing? Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, y'all. So I'm trying to be consistent, right? Yeah, I know that. I'm trying to be consistent, but most of all, um, I'm trying to be consistent, right? But most of all, what I'm trying to be, it, okay, is, um, not thinking too much about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not thinking too much about it, y'all. I'm just going to just, if I think about it, I think about it. You feel me? And just do it like that. Because that's just what I got to do right now. Can y'all see me? It is approximately 10, 13. I just got up, got myself together. You know, took a good old little shower, cleansed my face up. You guys know I told you my face is breaking out. Um, I've always had pretty much good skin. When I say good skin, I mean, you know, I had, you know, pimples and things like that when I was young. But all as an adult, my face was very clear. Um, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get all of that, but I was stressing and worrying. And so it just looked like I had took a break and did mess. Okay. I fuck around already and got no goddamn teeth in my mouth. Now my face want to break out like a meth user. You understand? You got to have good confidence right now in this walk that I'm in. This walk that I'm in, my Lord. This walk that I'm in, because right now it's just, you yeah, know, look at it, look at it, and it's not, but see what happened was, it was like little bumps, right, and because I ain't used to having it, I started picking at them, and when, and then, so then when I picked at them, it made them black, so then I went and got some bleaching cream, which I had showed y'all, and then that made it just was it's just been a mess. But I right now all I'm using is three things. I got all type of shit, but I've just broke it down to three things. And I've and it's one of them I'm using is a Noxemia. I have never used that in my life. I thought it really was a white person thing. Um, and why am I using that? I, it I don't it I don't it just makes my face feel really really clean and it's not greasy everything else i've been using it has like a greasy undertone afterwards and i don't like greasy stuff on me like i don't like i'm not like let me tell you when i was young my grandmother loved baby oil if anybody got a grandmother like this uh let me say leave it in the comments my grandmother would put baby oil in every bottle of lotion and everybody a bottle of lotion when she went and bought lotion you better know that um johnson johnson baby oil was a part of that and she would pour it in there and you know when it come out first is it's, 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 it's the, the baby johnson liquid then the lotion come out that's what i had to go through all my life so when i became an adult i hate oil i do not like oil shit i don't Unless it's quick oil, you know what I'm saying, where it gets on you and then it, it, it resolves quick or dissolves quick, resolve, Lord have mercy, uh, dissolve quickly. Now, I can take that, but I don't like that. And then um, she loves when they made the baby, uh, the gel, the baby oil gel. Oh, my Lord. She love that. I can't, I don't like all that. I don't like oil in my hair. You know, people um, oil their hair up to make it grow or well, oil treatment. I can't take it. I can't fucking take it. I cannot fucking take it. Oil, it, it creeps, it not creeps me out, but it, it's just, ugh, I can't. Like, I lose my fucking mind. Like, when they be doing my baby hair, like, when I be putting my wigs on, because you know that, um, that, uh, that spray, that, um, got to be glue is sticky. 
It's sticky and oily. Oh my god, I be feeling like I'm finna fucking fly to Mars when that shit is stick to my head and it's greasy, y'all. I be like, oh my god. Like, that's how bad I am with, with grease. I don't like it. But anyway, I don't even know how we got to that. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day today. I hope that y'all, why well, not hope? Because hope is not even what we need. We need blessed. I, I pray and I, and I, I pray in, um, that you guys have a beautiful day today, that you guys have the stamina that you need to get through your day today, whatever that, whatever your day may be. I don't know what your day going to be. I don't know what my day going to be. But whatever it is, I pray right now that the Lord give us the stamina that we need, that we're able to see the seen and the unseen, that we have the hedge of protection over all of our family members, our friends, and my uh, people that watches me on this line. A hedge of protection. No weapon formed against us should prosper. Should prosper. It's not going to prosper. And God, you are with us in Jesus' name. So, um, hope, you know, you guys go out and have a beautiful, great day today. And, 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 and if you can't have a great day, it looked like today going to be your day where the devil want to deal with you. You just go on and give it to the Lord. You just go on and give it to the Lord. Okay. Don't even entertain it for a moment. Just go ahead and give it to the, to the Lord. Okay. That's what you do. Um, but I wanted to talk about something real quick before I get out here in these streets. Okay, I want to talk about something real quick. Um, I know I still will be doing a lot of shit on here talking about the R. Kelly trial, which I'm watching really good, and that's crazy within itself. But um, it seemed like whenever I get on here to talk about something, God takes me a, a different route real quick. So we're gonna do this real quick. So, I want to talk about friends, or people that's close to you, friends, cousins, whoever's close to you. Uh-oh, whoever in your life who you uh, take them, like if they give you advice, you will consider it. Not saying you'll do it because you're not a robot, but you'll consider it. Those people. I'm t I want to talk about those people. And they could be friends. They could be anybody. Anybody who you feel that what they say is value. Um, those are who I want to speak about right now. So, I have a friend. Or I would say, uh, I believe we're, we're, I don't know what we are. I think we're cool. We're cool girls, right? And she watches my channel. And uh, I love you. You'll know who I'm talking about in a minute. Or she'll know that I'm speaking about her if she's watching. And I love you. And it's no shade to you. Okay? It's no shade to you at all. I just want you to know that. I still love you. But I want to be real clear. Anyway. So me and her was talking. And I was telling her, you know, the things. I haven't spoken to her in a minute. And I was telling her, updating her on the things I was going through, what's going on, how God is moving me, da 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 da. The same shit like I had to talk to y'all basically. And so I was on the phone talking to her, and but I had put a little extra on it, meaning I, I haven't, you know, I, I don't really tell you guys every complete thing, but I told her what God had told me, what I, what I believe He is telling me He want me to do, right? And so. Immediately when I said that, she was like, "No, I don't. I, I don't think. I don't think you. Sh I don't think that you're gonna be able to do that. I know you. That's what she said. Um, and and mind you, this person that I'm speaking of does not have ill intent. She's not a bad person. She doesn't hate me. She does not hate on me. She doesn't wish she had my life. None of that. She's her heart is pure. Okay, so it wasn't like it was coming from a place of of I don't believe you can do it or I mean you know she was saying my my characteristics that I've showed her showed her that I probably wouldn't be good for the assignment that God had gave me to do right but and she said I know you now I was like okay and first when she said it I thought nothing of it 
I thought nothing of it because she she's right. I mean, no, no, excuse me. She's not right. But at that moment, I'm like, oh, you, you know, I am, you know, when I go through my things, I shut down. That is one of my my things. Um, you know, when I'm when I'm when shit ain't right, I close up, I shut down. That's just what I do, right? And I come back out when I figured it out. Like a snail. So went so but then God put on my heart, like, let me tell you something. She can't know you know she can't know you better than I know you. I'm the cre I'm the person that created you. I'm the person that created you. So she cannot know you know no better than that. She don't know you better than I do. That's number one. Number two. I got this. I, you don't need confirmations from nobody. As long as you heard me and you heard what I said and you follow the will, I, I got the other part of it. I got the part that's going to make you be consistent. I got the part. I got all that. I just need you to walk with me. But so I, I don't want to go deep, deep into everything and make it. A, it's not all that. But basically what I want to tell you guys is you can have people around you, right? Who say things and they don't mean it to be hateful. It's just what they think they know. Uh, for the ones who speak out of turn, because that's what the fuck it was, out of turn. When someone says, God told me to do this, you be in agreement with that. That's your job. Your job is if, if, I, if someone tells you God told them to do something, you be in agreement with it. You don't tell people what you think. When God had already told this person what to do, because then you help the devil make make what God told that person to do upside down. Like now they don't know what well, they're going to know. You know, they're smart. They'll definitely go with God. But you get what I'm saying? You're helping the enemy. If you want to be my friend and I tell you that God told me something, either you don't believe that God is speaking to me. And if you don't believe God is speaking to me, then you shouldn't talk to me. Right. You should not know who I am. Or you should put your agreement with mine. And help me be what I need to be. Help be create. What part can you help me to create myself to be whatever God has asked me to be? If You know what I'm saying? But to say, oh, no, I no, you know, try to lower what God told me. How you going to do that? Tell me, because I know you. You don't know me. You don't, you don't know me. I barely know me. I learn me every fucking day. Today I'm finna learn something new. You don't know me. Friends, that's like that. Now I'm speaking to the friends that, that speak out of turn. Either fuck with somebody all the way. I don't give a fuck if that bitch said God told her to go to the moon and back. In Jesus' name. I, uh, uh, Lord, co cover her. Put a hedge over her to get to Pluto and back. You understand? I want that type of friends around me. I want the people that if I if, if, if God has talk, spoken to me, and you know I'm not crazy, and you know I can hear the Lord, you know that the Lord speaks through to everybody, if you're willing to listen to him, then you need to be in a fucking agreement. Ain't nobody asked you what your opinion was, what you thought about it. I ain't asked you. Do you think I should be a pastor? I was telling you, God gave me this assignment. Oh, my God. It's a big assignment. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my Lord, you know, this and that. And saying my reservations about it. That's it. You're supposed to be like, you got it. If, if that's what God told you to do, he's not going to steer you wrong. We need more Christian people talking like Christian people. You can't talk like we just need more Christian people talking Christian talk sometimes. And I know what y'all finna say. You just, you be cussing and shit. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about that type of shit like that. No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about putting faith into faith into people. Faith on, into people. Especially if you fuck with them. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. Because I'm not saying it again. Hopefully everybody understood what the fuck I'm saying. Pour faith in me. I'm going to pour faith in you. I want the friend who you can keep it real. I don't have a problem with that. If you if you, if you you think that's keeping it real. But the moment that I said God said it, that's it. That's it. 
It's no, it's no if, ands, but about it. Now, if I said this is what I want to do, then you can have an opinion about it. And even with that, if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. I don't give a fuck where we going, what I want to do. Where is the homegirls that do that? Now, everybody is so fucking, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Did it make me mad? No, it didn't make me mad. Am I mad? No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Because I had to empty that shit out of my head. Like, I had to tell me, who, who the fuck is she to tell you about my plan I got for you? And I'm the creator. I'm the person that created created the person, the, the situation. Um, this is my husband texting me. Every morning, I send him a daily bread. Oh, shit. A daily bread. I feed my husband more than just pussy, more than eggs, more than negativity. You know, you hoes be. Anyways, daily bread. Oh goddamn. Anyway, daily bread, daily bread, daily bread, daily bread. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah. Daily bread, daily bread, daily bread. Daily bread, daily bread, daily bread, daily bread, daily bread, daily bread. So, and for the, for the motherfucking people who don't know what daily bread is, it's like basically quotes from the Bible that has today, like it has a date on it. And then you, it has like empowering words and, and a scripture at the bottom. You know what I mean? It just keeps your mind right. The first thing in the morning, like I told you guys, the first when I first wake up, the devil be right there. I, he gets me in the morning, and I don't know why he do. He just do. He gets me in the morning. In the morning, oh my God, it's a battle, okay? Um, but he don't be winning because I, I listen to my gospel, get into my YouTube, listen to my music, read my daily bread. As soon as you start moving like that, he, he go away. He go away. But if you sit and entertain it, then he not going away. You feel me? Then he not going away. So he comes fucking with me in the morning time. So I got to stay straight. I got to stay straight, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to do another video, but I just wanted to say that if God tell people to do stuff, just be in agreement with them. Don't tell them what you think because you're not God. And if you fuck with them, be in agreement with them. God said when two or more are in the presence, when two or more are praying with, with one another, God is in the presence of it. Bitch, be in the be, 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 bring God, bitch. When you come... You know, and we both praying, girl. The God, the Lord is in the presence of us. Okay, don't come tell me what the fuck you think. Don't come, don't go tell nobody what you think. If God then told you what to do, or told that person what to do, how about that? How the fuck about that? I'll shake y'all because all you doing is helping Satan. Even though you're not doing it on purpose, but we don't got time. The world is fucking up right now. Everybody need to be on point on what the fuck is coming out their mouth. Everybody need to be on point on how they moving outside. We come into the world like that. Everybody need to be on point. It can't be no... Thank you, baby. It can't be no motherfucking mistakes. Hold on. Look at my baby. Come here, little baby. Ah, that's my baby. Why are you standing like that? Ah, boo. Let me see you flip. Do your flip. Do your one two flip. The flip you do. Be careful. Oh, 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 my Lord Jesus. Hey, baby. Woo yeah, yeah. Karate kid, karate kid. Okay, love you. All right, y'all, next video. Bye.